Six out of every 100 adults in New Mexico has diabetes, which ranks as the 29th highest in the nation for the ratio of people with diabetes to the general population. Now, when you think that's not so bad, well, then get this. New Mexico ranks fourth highest in the nation for diabetes deaths. Dr. Emil Faith is here with us yeah. this morning to tell us how to manage diabetes. Well, Welcome. Thank you so much. This is yeah. a big issue, and it's not yes. just a big issue in this state. It's a big issue everywhere. Sure. In fact, over 30 million adult Americans yes. have uh, blood sugar problems or diabetes. Over 300 million worldwide, and the problem is it's climbing. We've got a serious problem, and I'm going to tell you how to really take a look at this issue. It comes down to two major things, Nikki. Okay. And that is two things. One we know about a lot, that's nutrition mm -hmm. and diet. Absolutely. We can control this. Right. The second is your emotional state. Now, I've talked about emotions mm -hmm. before. There is a significant thing. We'll talk about how emotions affect yes. blood sugars. It's a big deal. Uh, let's start with diet. First of all, you've got to watch what you're eating, obviously. Easy on the fruits, easy on the fruit juices. They're healthy, but don't overdo them. Okay. Yeah. Why is it such a killer in New Mexico? Yeah. Well, it's because more people, I guess, are get going for the fast food, the comfort food. There's people who don't have ah. enough money, so they're reaching for the fast stuff and the processed stuff. No it's kidding. the processed, packaged foods mm. that are really a problem here. Mm -hmm. Omitting fruits, fruit juices, sodas. Okay. So many people oh. are drinking sodas. That's the number <laughs> one problem. I know, and I'm Drink guilty. Watch the soda. Sodas, stay away from the sodas, fatty foods and fast foods, all of these have ingredients that can raise blood sugar. So easy on the fatty foods because fat turns into sugar. What about those fast foods that claim to be good for you? You know what I mean? When you go to those drive throughs and they say, this is the healthy menu. Mm -hmm. Is that really that <laughs> That's relatively menu? not true because we're going to talk about something called high fructose corn syrup. Yes. Mm -hmm. High yes. fructose corn syrup. You know, a lot of things used to be made with sugar. Sure. Uh, especially the juices and the drinks and the, and the sodas. Mm -hmm. No more. Uh, right. Most of these have high fructose corn syrup and that's deadly. It's right, the right. number one reason, in my opinion, that we're seeing nutritional problems here because we're eating it all over the place and you would be surprised mm -hmm. where you'll find high fructose corn syrup. It's well, amazing. Now, I know you also mentioned a lot of starches because I want to show on the screen. We were talking earlier about the fact that pas you know, eating pastas and breads, breads and are food high in starches. Now, that turns right. to sugar, correct? That's correct. Right. So you want to watch those. Okay. The processed foods, the dairy, caffeine, you should be really easy on that. Okay. Baked goods, things that are packaged are a problem. So okay. if you're diabetic, have blood sugar problems, or if you want to just stay healthy, mm -hmm. eat fresh. There's mm -hmm. a commercial out there that talks about that, <laughs> yes. and it's true. If you eat fresh, if you can catch it or kill it, it's, and it's fresh, you're going mm -hmm. to do well with it. It's yeah. the processed foods that are a problem here. All right. Now, what about sweeteners? I know there's everything out there from Splenda yes. to Equal to Sweet right. and Low. Stay to... away from those. Okay. Stay away from Splenda those. Splenda, too? Splenda, no absolutely. These can mm -hmm. cause neuromuscular problems, autoimmune disorders. It's wow. a big issue. It causes other conditions. It may not raise your blood sugar, but it causes other health problems. I recommend really? stay away from it. If you're going to pick a natural sweetener, yes. mm -hmm. start with stevia. It's okay. an herb called stevia, grown yeah. in the Brazilian, the South America region, and yeah. probably other parts of the world as and well. And they package that now in the little packets You can get as it well, now. Right? And actually, My there's mom a, tried that. That's okay. right. There's a movement now to actually put that in some of these soft drinks and replace some of the yeah. unhealthy net, uh, uh, artificial or non-sugar ingredients. We know, being in the South, we drink a lot of sweet tea. Right. So you know, my well, I love it. Mean, well, it tastes great. It is. It's so good. It tastes great. It but does. they planted a stevia plant. My dad they planted did? a stevia right? plant in, this, in the backyard. Oh, my gosh. And used that to sweeten the tea instead. And he said it was great. It that's does really taste, cool. It tastes mm -hmm. different, tastes great. The stevia, the good thing about stevia, it yeah. not only does it not raise blood sugars, uh -huh. it actually helps lower them. So wow. it's actually medicinal. So, so it's actually like a preventative method as it, well. Yeah, it's very well. It's, it's actually a great prevention. And so use stevia if you're choosing a sweetener. There okay. are other things like honey and agave. Those are mm -hmm. also good Watch, to do. I okay. love the honey. Well, you you also say that, you know, you want to be able to read labels, right? Right. Yeah. Absolutely read labels and look out for high fructose corn syrup, as we talked okay. about just a moment one. ago. You will be surprised what contain what foods contain high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> Salad dressings, ice cream. Jellies and jams, tomato sauces, uh, everything, canned, canned, beans. canned <laughs> beans, canned vegetables. Look, the bottom line is read labels, you will Gosh. be healthy. And the thing is, when you eat out, you still have to watch because mm -hmm. unknowingly, these great restaurants are still buying these same foods that we eat, and it's in the, it's oftentimes in the menu. Well, so 
I need to ask a very realistic question, okay. which is in your daily life, you know, you do get caught up in the in life. Right. And mm -hmm. don't you think that you'll get to a point of paranoia? How do you balance not being paranoid but still doing the right thing? That's a great question. You balance your emotions because here's the emotional component. It's okay. a great segue into this. Okay. Look, here, here's how diabetes starts from my perspective. And if you go back and look at the cases that I've looked at, the deal is here. If you stifle your joy, mm -hmm. if you stifle the sweetness in your life mm -hmm. over time, you will raise your blood sugar. So go back and evaluate your relationships. That's why you can see begin mm -hmm. expressing your feelings. Begin expressing what you're feeling. Stifled relationships, uh, stifled joy will eventually, over time, raise blood sugars. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. So look at your relationships, not mm -hmm. just your personal relationships. Wow. But your work relationships, everything in your life, if you feel like you're stifled, mm -hmm. over time, mm -hmm. especially if you have genetic tendencies for this in your family, mm -hmm. right. your blood yes. sugars will climb. And I saw exercise on there too. Absolutely. And exercise is smart happen, because right? exercise yes. lowers blood sugars. Mm -hmm. So 30, 60, 30 up to 60 minutes of walking a day, nothing fancy. Just mm -hmm. get out and do it. Well, I know, and I know Kristen exercises a lot. A lot of times when we have time off, I'll, I'll say, how could you be exercising on your free time? But now that I've started exercising again, I really remember. And you that's do feel the better. thing. You do mm -hmm. it as a routine. Once mm -hmm. you get the, I've been, you know, I started walking 20 years ago, and I wa I will not miss a day. It's that's not great. hard. Just pick 30 minutes a day, make it yourself, make sure. it the healthy time. Mm -hmm. Well, how do allergies affect blood sugars? I know that's a big deal too. It is a big deal because when you have food allergies or any allergy, it raises your immune system. And when we mm -hmm. raise the immune system, we raise cortisol levels, and right. cortisol levels drive blood sugars. So okay. if you're allergic to certain foods, and I guarantee you, you are, find out what those are begin to make some dietary changes get those items out dairy tomatoes strawberries wheat those are classic allergens and they can over time create blood sugar problems interesting yeah. what about really supplements can't you take things that can there are a too? lot of supplements okay. that can be very mm -hmm. helpful in getting blood sugars down many of them come in combination formulas okay uh, the ones that you'll find in there typically are things like chromium we chromium. talked about chromium right, before. Right. Mm -hmm. Balances blood sugars and fat metabolism. Very nice to start. Okay. Vanadium. Pancreatic enzymes. And these are available Whoa. at your health food store. Helps boost the pancreatic function, pancreatic function, so that insulin production is balanced and increased to manage the blood sugar changes. Also, wow. chlorella. What's that? Chlorella, it's a good question. Chlorella is a nice little green guy. Okay. It's blue-green. It's the cellular wall of algae, actually. Mm -hmm. And if you have diabetes or any blood sugar problems, or you just want to stay healthy, yes. mm -hmm. start taking two to four to six, up to 10, 12 chlorella tablets every day. Your blood sugars wow. will start to come down. Now, I know a lot of people will want to know how to contact you because I'm sure they'll want some personal advice. And, of course, we have all of that for you right now on the screen. And I know a lot of people talk about diabetes being genetic, and I think by taking a lot of this advice, you can work on the prevention. Not just mm -hmm. that. You can overcome genetics. You can. You can. You don't have to get what your parents or grandparents got. You can overcome it. Need help? That Call is me. really That's good to know, nice. and I'm sure yeah. they will. Thank you so much for being here. We both it appreciate is my that pleasure. so much. Yeah, thanks for coming. So helpful, as always. Thanks. And coming up next, some fun. We're cooking in our New Mexico style kitchen. I think Dr. Faith will approve. And even though the Super Bowl is still almost a month away, Mike from Calico Cantina is fast at work making some delectable treats that'll have your man howling for more. It's all after the break.